what's your first cognizant memory that uh, of you realizing that hey this I, I really can memorize pretty easily I've sort of centered on on one that uh, does come to mind from when I was in eighth grade and that was what date March 28th 1969 well, the big news that was in the papers that day and certainly was on the radio was that uh, Eisenhower was very sick and they figured he was going to die any day Friday morning, Mrs. Hutchins would have her uh, classroom spelling bees, and up to that point, I had won all the bees very easily. That day, I got the word reverence, and I was just so confident about that. Oh, I know this one. It's like R E V E R E E. I I almost got a second E out, and uh, like, I stopped, and Mrs. Hutchins looked at me. Oh, what did you do? I went down first. Not only did I not win, I went down first. So I was depressed for the rest of that class. Then the second hour, the word had spread that I had uh, lost the spelling bee. We'd start the class by uh, running in circles and bouncing basketballs. And so a few of the guys going around the uh, gym started saying, R-E-V-E-R-E-E. -E -E. It's like, yeah, big guy. The third hour was the school assembly with this memory expert named O.G. Fitzgerald, old guy, I suppose was 60s is that what the OG stood for? Uh, old guy Fitzgerald. That's, that's it. probably what it was. He writes this 12 digit number on the blackboard. And he says, Well, you know, you can remember things if you break them down into smaller pieces. And he uh, splits up into three digit sections 259, 371, 048, 378. And then he asks, up on stage to see if they know it. It's like, well, I know, okay, I'll go up. He gets to me, can you recite it every other number backwards starting with the last one? I've got the number committed to memory and I say, eight, three, four, one, three, five. He says, yes, that's right. I've been doing this for whatever length of time he'd been doing this and you're the first person who could do it right. So I went from go to a uh, hero, so to speak, in the course of three hours. Then we get home at the end of the day and there was all this Eisenhower stuff on TV because he did die. And But not, not on all the channels. He didn't well, he die did. on all the channels. <laughs> he didn't die on all the channels. <laughs>